Hey, it's Charlie. And Kimberly. Welcome back to the Hare's Last Resort Adventures. We are on our way for camping trip number five. Number five. Yay. And this time we are only going to be about 35 minutes from the house. So That's we are great. going to Penny Rouse State Park. Uh, absolutely beautiful. We've never camped there before. I have kind of drove up to the lodge and stuff, but I understand that they've been doing a lot of work out there, so it's going to be really cool to go out there and check it out. Also, we got our little warm me up drinks. We got the guitar. And look, you can see out the back window. Woohoo! So we are more organized. Yes. Yes, that's a major plus for us. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I keep knocking your head off. Huh? <laughs> I'm used to it. Okay, guys, we are on our way. And just come camping with us. Enjoy the journey. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you there. See you there. Hey, what's that little blingy shirt you got on there? Gentleman Glitz. Gentleman Glitz, you can find it on my wife's uh, boutique at loverlyyou.com. Is she gorgeous? She is. I love some bling and some denim. And guess what? I love Kevin too. <laughs> you never thought. Yeah, I know. My man. Hey, so we just arrived um, and we are going to go for a little stroll down by the beach, right? Right, it's a beach and the boat ramp is supposed to be down here. Yeah, the beach and boat ramp. Um, it's closed right now, of course, because it's season is up. But anywho, um, we are going against the grain as we always do. <laughs> We're going to go around this little, you see where they have it blocked off? <laughs> Well, we're just going to bypass that and go right around there. You know, we don't always follow the rules. Uh, you don't Charlie, I'm cutting you out. <laughs> you better get up here. I'm cutting you out. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing now. And it's a steep hill, y'all. And I'm not doing very good. There, Charlie. Huh? What'd you see down there? A waterfall? A waterfall? Come on, my little coal miner. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
friends took our canopy at Elkmont in the mountains last weekend or the weekend before that. It was last weekend, right? Anyway. Um, yeah, I grabbed a hold of the canopy while the wind was carrying it over the top of the truck. We thought it only had a rip in the top, in the canopy part. Well, guess what? It had more troubles, a lot more troubles. It's bent, it's broken. So we're just setting this thing up the best we can and we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> and I'm laughing and Charlie keeps asking me what I'm laughing about. Hey, you gotta make a good thing out of a bad thing, right? Uh, <laughs> just laugh when you can't. <laughs> tonight um, just want to give you a holler a little shout out and let you know what's going on we had a few issues setting up tonight um, due to the canopy being in worse shape than we actually thought it was from the last um, heroic winds horrific horrific winds <laughs> however you want to say that anyway um, so yeah it's gonna be me and Frosty tonight. Charlie's actually doing the cooking. He decided to give me a break and do the cooking himself. We had planned on chicken tortillas on the um, Blackstone Grill. So that's exactly what Charlie is doing tonight instead of me. So he is over there Ooh, making it bubble up. What is that? Mm, we're gonna have some chicken and some mushrooms and some cheese and a little tortilla. We've got these little uh uh, chicken breast cans. We thought we, it would. It's really inexpensive. It's really simple. We just throw it on the griddle, and uh, there we go. We'll have us a meal here in just a minute. We got some salsa to go on with it, and we used. Where did it go? Holy garlic seasoning, and that's really all it needed on the chicken. And I threw a little bit of garlic, a little bit of pepper on the um, on the mushrooms, and we are good. So, anyway, that's where we're at right so now. So, let's take a look. So, we in the process. Yummy, yummy. All right. So, we got some tortilla shells that are getting scrumptiously brown and crunchy. Mm -hmm. And we got some chicken. Ooh. And you got cheese. Ooh, I can't wait. This is going to be good. It's going to be some good stuff, baby. If I could open the daggum cheese. <laughs> I have faith in you. You can do it. You can do well, it. Well, I don't know if I can or not. I'm You've having got issues this. right now. Do you need me to help you out? Can you open the cheese for me? Sure. Minute. It's teamwork, baby. Teamwork. <sighs> Just give me a knife. I can't open it. <laughs> Are you kidding? Don't laugh at me. Hey, baby, you had to finish it up for me, didn't you? <laughs> Just a little bit. You know, but that really looks good. I was worried that the cheese would melt on the black stone, but it didn't. Mine's so you got a like toasty because I like it that way. Yeah, you got a little double layer of cheese on the outside and on the inside, don't you? I sure do. Heck yeah. You know I'm a cheese head. Heck yeah. So I love it. And I love you. And I love you. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. We finally got to sit down and eat. Yay. Yeah, here it is. What what time is it? Six thirty maybe? <laughs> It seems like midnight. Yeah, six <laughs> thirty. Probably about six thirty-ish, somewhere in there. Pitch black. Yeah. Cool. But man, it sure is nice to have a campfire. It's been a long time overdue, right there, man. It's it's nice. It's warm. Yes. But we got to fire up the the blackstone. Of course, you saw earlier, and uh, did the little chicken tortilla thing, and. Pretty daggum good. Yes, it is. So we're getting ready to chow down on this. And so, baby, what do you think about the uh, park so far? It's very quiet. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's like uh, I forgot how many campsites there are here. And you know, supposedly there was supposed to be three people here. We're the only ones. The only ones. So that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, there are two RVs parked, but the ve- there's no vehicles. They haven't been there the whole time we've been here, and there are no lights on. Yeah. One has the outside lights on, like little string lights. I didn't even notice that. It's the fur- the one up further. Mm. But other than that, y'all, there is, like, nobody here but us. Curfew is 11. Um, so if we make it to 11, we can keep going past 11 because there's nobody here to turn us in. Hey. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm thinking after we eat, maybe a little guitar picking. Possibly, yeah. A yeah. little more uh, warm drink, drinking. Yeah, he's ahead on me on that because I, I just had me a little bit of wine tonight. Mm. It was a little chilly on my fingers, and I, I might have to get some gloves and a little a toboggan. Oh, a toboggan. A little toboggan. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is this is awesome. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. I'm, I love it, and really looking forward to next weekend. Yeah, the only thing that stinks is that that canopy. <laughs> oh my! It took us longer to get set up tonight, I think, than it's ever taken us to get set up, and all because <laughs> that canopy. When we was in Gatlinburg, they had that. Uh, well, they had mm-hmm. the evacuation, or whatever. So, but they were saying that it was going to get up to like 80, the winds were supposed to get up to like eighty mile an hour that evening. Well, right after the park ranger came up here and told us that, he's like, you, you guys may want to hurry up. You know, the wind's going to pick up this evening, and they're going to shut down the roads. About that time, a gust of wind popped up. <laughs> and I thought Kimberly was like Mary Poppins <laughs> holding on to the to the uh, leg of the canopy because I thought he was getting ready to take her <laughs> off, you know. But, was- any, but anyway, <laughs> it ended up folding over top of my truck, scratching the side of the truck up. I'm still holding on. Yeah, she's still holding on. I would really wish I could have got a picture of that. Oh, my gosh. I wish we could have got a picture. That would have been so good. But anyway, it scratched the side of my truck, and then when we put the canopy up tonight, it's got two or three of the little sections that actually hold the canopy up are broken. So we've got it kind of rigged up there where it will stay for tonight and kind of hold our lights up, but I think that was a catastrophe. mm mm-hmm. But anyway, very much so, so. So we'll be we'll be doing something different as far as the canopy goes. But but everything else, is a, I mean, the campsite it's a little tight, and I think we'll show you probably more tomorrow mm-hmm. uh, of the way the campground is set up. But the grounds itself, we're going to show some pictures. Uh, man, it's it's absolutely beautiful out here, and this is Dawson Springs, Kentucky. Kentucky. And again. No burn ban, so we got we got the fire going on tonight. So, yeah, but the the campground is pretty and really nice. Um, if there were more people here, I would probably have a different opinion because they are pretty close knit and pretty yeah. tight together, and I really don't like that. So, other than that, we're out here by ourselves, just relaxing and chilling and eating and having. He's having a little warm drinky drink, so we're That's good right. to go. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish eating. What about you? It sounds good to me. All right. I'm ready to chow. All right. We'll talk to you guys later.
baby. Whatever you want to do. Oh, come on. Name something. My song. Oh, my God. My song. Last night had a good fire going. Got up this morning and it is windy as heck and <laughs> chilly. Yeah, it's our canopy that um, was already distorted and messed up. It's just flapping in the air. You can probably hear it in the background. Every time um, the wind goes up, I told Charlie if you remember. This is telling my age, maybe. I don't know. I think they might still do this. But in school in PE, we used to have the big parachute. And we would all flap it and then get under it. And it would go up and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's what the canopy reminds me of every time the wind blows. With a bunch of broken metal pieces hanging off of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty mm -hmm. pitiful. But, but it's okay. It's good. So we're just, uh, like he said, it's chilly. So we're having our morning coffee. Um... We didn't cook breakfast this morning. We woke up a little late. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> we stayed up late. It was so quiet here and peaceful with nobody being here that we just, you know, we just sat outside by the fire and played guitar and we just relaxed. And before you know it, it was, I don't even know what time it was Light. when we finally turned in. But um, he did put the heater on the edge of the truck bed to heat up the tent before we got in. So all the covers and all that stuff were nice and toasty. Mm -hmm. And then we turned the heater off, of course. Um, but yeah, it was a really good night. I love the campground other than I think um, if there's ever people here, I think it would be a little closer proximity than what I prefer. Yeah, it might be a little tight. Yeah. But other than that, I mean... Hey. Yeah, well, hopefully we're going to get up and look at some of the grounds and stuff today before we head home. So. Yeah. So I've come to the realization, you guys, and I'm so sorry for y'all, but apparently my hair is not camping hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> it won't do anything but curl up and do its own little thing. And then, um, you know, we talked about in the past videos that you always forget something. Well, um... One of the things I forgot is a comb. So I couldn't even comb it today to even try to tame it. <laughs> I know. I'm camping. I shouldn't be worried about that. Yeah. But My yeah. hair. My hair. Oh. Your hair is so pretty, baby. Mm. <laughs> but anyway. We're in the wild. Bears. And, of course, there ain't no bears here. But no. The deer don't care nothing about your hair. No. Oh, but I scared them away last night. They mm. must have been afraid of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I went, like, twice last night i went to use the restroom because we're just right next to it so I, I walked up there and the deer were outside and the first time when i got up there um they just like darted and scared me because i wasn't expecting it uh so then when i went back the second time they were in the very same place that took off running again i even i tried to get them to come back <laughs> anyway i'm i'm silly you're weird yeah that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're both kind of weird. So. Yeah. But anyway, we just wanted to pop on, say good morning, and let you know how our night went. And I think that we're probably going to ride around the campground, and we'll show you what we're talking about as far as how close they are. It's a small campground. It's not very large. Um, this area is just one loop. So we'll show you that on our way out. And then I think you wanted to look, go down to the levee or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. The lake and... 
the landscape down there is just beautiful. So. Yeah, so it's it's really nice out here. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, we're going to go home. So we're going to take a little ride around the loop slowly. So if you'll see, the loop is small. That's one. And right next door is two. And then right next door again is three. So that just gives you a good idea of how close these campsites are. And they're not very uh, deep either. So Yeah, they're not real deep. So And there's really not... In my opinion, there's not a good level spot for just a tent, a ground tent. At least there wasn't on our campsite. So we're coming up on ours, so we'll show you right here. So number seven, this is where we were, number seven. So if you look at ours, well, I can't see for the sun, but um, see where the picnic table is? There's maybe back behind the end of the driveway a little bit to the left there if you can see right over there that might work for a, a ground tent but there's a little hill there too so in my opinion not perfect for a ground tent um but we have the truck bed tent so it worked out fine for us and around the corner up here we'll just go on um, and let you see there's a very small playground for children you can see a couple other spots over there. Here's your playground. Um, we had two RVs parked here, not RVs, but um, fifth wheels parked here. This one, nobody was here all night. There was no vehicle, no lights at all. Well, that right there too shows you how unlevel these. Yeah, you can see the how are. they have the stabilizers on there. You can see just how unlevel the campsites are. So if you're thinking about coming in a fifth wheel, um, then you might want to consider that as well. And then there's one more up here. Um, looks like they may stay here. I don't really know, but they've got like a little stairs, steps. We're coming up on it. Um, all right, there we go. So they got their little steps, but look again. There was nobody here. They had their lights on the front, but there was nobody here all night. Um, but you can see the stabilizer see how unlevel it is but yeah so that gives you an idea of this campground oh and one more thing to keep in mind um, the bathrooms this is in season I get that there's really nobody here so they may be better kept 
when it's summertime or, or early fall or something like that. But the bathrooms had cobwebs and they had dead flies, dead bugs on the floor. Um, they didn't, I, they were warm. I'll give them that. Uh, every time I went in there, it was nice and toasty. But they just weren't kept. Now, the, the toilet seats and all that, they were clean. But the floors, the walls, the sink was clean. But everything else was just, yeah, it needed a good sweeping and a good mopping. Well, look, they have the, the actually the... Uh, they have the holder for the lantern for up the here. For the lantern, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have that on mm -hmm. ours. Well, but anyway, just want to give you a quick shot, quick tour, and let you know about Penny Rail campgrounds so if you're ever thinking about coming that hopefully will help you out um, they do have That's Matthew calling. Hello? Oh, yeah, we're right there. <laughs> Baby, I don't think those boots are made for this. We decided instead of heading straight home it's been a while so we decided that we will go in the lodge and have lunch so that's where we're headed now see how beautiful we showed you this yesterday or earlier in the clip it says penny ryle lodge so we're just gonna go right inside and have a little lunch and look at the company <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> so anytime you want to come down here to the Penny Rail State Park Lodge, this is oh, what you're going to get when you walk hi. in. And then, what's your name? We're not all that crazy. No. <laughs> not all just that me. crazy? Just me. <laughs> Lots of fun. It's all about fun. That's so right. you guys will bring anybody in here. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> all right. Cool beans. We are inside Penny Rail State Park Lodge. Just wanted to give you a little looky looky at this because it's very, very pretty. It's all decorated for Christmas. I love the fireplace. There's some reindeer. And then they have a hole set up here. And just oh, look at the little owl the, the 
This is very pretty. Yeah. Mineral State Park. Was. And there's our Charlie. Alright, so, of course we made a little pit stop. Here's a gift shop. Got lots of goodies in here as well. Look at the look, Kentucky blue Christmas tree. We have t-shirts, have a few ornaments, it looks like. Oh, and we have a little buddy, our bear. <laughs> How sweet. All right. Oh, and I love these pumpkins. Y'all look at these. Are they not too cute? All right. Candleberry candles. Yummy. Oh. Okay. So let's get, oh, I love the jewelry too. Okay, let's continue on to get a little food. You ready? Oh, there's Ho Ho Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. All right, you ready? We're just going to step down here and get us a little bit of food. I'll have water with lemon, please. Mm -hmm. Look at the view. That's beautiful. So we're sitting next to this window. And look at the view. You can't beat it. So today is a buffet. I think it's always buffet here. like a chicken pop pie biscuit type thing. Potatoes, apples, sweet potatoes. And we got a little bit of catfish here. Oh, and you can't leave out the desserts. Ooh, that looks like that. Uh, oh, I can't even think of the name of it, but I've made it. <laughs> Starting with our salad. Mm. Let me just warn y'all. I don't know why or how I do this. I do not know how to fix a small salad. Mm -hmm. Like literally, right? right? So I will need it all. I guarantee it. There's my salad. Mm. Salad bar. I go through it and I see. And I think I'm just gonna a little bit of this and that. And this is what it runs up in. So. Anyhow, what about you? Yeah. Ready, Chad? Every time. Everything. Yeah, everything. All right, we're gonna eat your salad, and I'll let you know if I get to eat anything. <laughs> so I walk out of the bathroom and I hear a piano going, and guess who it is? He's never played the piano in front of me before. Resort also offers um, lodging at the lodge. This is room 105. 
There's two, looks like queen size beds inside. Um, but anyway, here's the best part. If I turn you around, look at this view. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you'll see that view right outside your window. Uh, Whew, I'm stuffed. stuffed. I'm big time. Mm -hmm. So, what'd you think? Well, we didn't really even get past the salad bar. We was going to uh, try out all the food, all the different foods and stuff they had on the buffet. But man, we got full on the salad bar. Had a few pieces of fish. The fish was really good. Fried catfish and uh, and then I had a blackberry cobbler with some ice cream. And that was it for me. I had my salad <laughs> and I didn't finish it like I said I wouldn't. But um, our little server came around and told us if we didn't want the hot bar that it was fine. And so I just stuck with the salad bar because I'm like, there's no way I can eat anything else. I don't know how to make a small salad. I don't know why, but I ate it. I'm stuffed. I couldn't have eaten another bite. I did have a couple pieces, not pieces, but he gave me like a, a wee little bit of fish. And so I tasted the fish and the fish was delicious. So I definitely recommend that you do... Try out the buffet at the lodge mm -hmm. if you are here. Mm -hmm. And the views are spectacular. Oh, man. Just so many different uh, picture opportunities here. Yeah. So, okay. Um, we just wanted to give you our take on the buffet. And um, we're going to head on home now. Yeah. Catch you guys. I oh, know it does. But um, if, like I said, if you like our content, you want to hear more, or if there's something we're doing that you like or you dislike, Please leave us a comment below, and if you want to keep following us, please do. We hope you want to. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. All right, we're headed home. Catch you on our next video. Actually, is next weekend. Next Where are we weekend, going? We're going to Bandy Creek Campground. Bandy Creek. Yeah. In Oneida, Tennessee. Yeah. Oneida, Oneida. Yeah. And our grandson will be with us. So. We're getting ran over. Yeah. We'll see y'all there. <laughs> Bye.